So have you heard the one about the man who had magic mushrooms growing inside of his body? This story has been blowing up over the last week or so, and although most of the headlines seem to really exaggerate the facts, it's still super interesting and 100% worth talking about. I have never really thought about asking this question before, but is it really possible for mushrooms to grow inside of your body, and is it something that we should worry about? Most of the information I'm getting for this video came from a pre-proof journal article called A Trip to the ICU, and if you're interested in getting that article, Article, I'll link to it in the description below. Basically what happened was a 30 year old man with a history of mental illness and a history of intravenous drug use showed up at the hospital with a whole bunch of really horrible symptoms and in a really confused state. According to his family who dropped him off at the hospital, he had been looking for different ways to kind of self-treat his opioid dependence and his depression. One of the things that he had learned about is magic mushrooms or psilocybin mushrooms and the research that's been done that shows these things might have the potential to help treat different mental disorders, which is actually 100% true. Even though psilocybin mushrooms are illegal in most places, there's some amazing research being done with their potential ability to help with things like depression, with end of life anxiety, with addiction, and with a whole host of other mental issues. Now, typically these mushrooms are consumed by either eating them or by making a tea from dried mushrooms and drinking that tea. But this person, referred to as Mr. X in the paper, unfortunately decided to enjoy inject them intravenously. According to the paper, Mr. X boiled the mushrooms in hot water, then filtered the liquid through a cotton swab and injected it directly into his veins. Now, obviously it goes without saying, but we don't recommend ever trying this ever for anyone. Uh, this is not a typical way to use these types of mushrooms, even though to my surprise, when I started looking into this, this isn't actually the first case of this happening. So after this injection, over the next several days, Mr. X apparently developed jaundice, diarrhea, lethargy, and all these other terrible symptoms before being brought to the hospital in a state where he was too confused to even properly communicate what was happening. Doctors then performed a bunch of tests and lab studies to try and figure out what was going on, and they found that, of course, he had a uh, bacterial infection in his blood, which actually makes a lot of sense, but here's where it gets interesting. He also had a fungal infection, which was ultimately determined to be Psilocybe cubensis, which is the exact species of mushrooms that he had made the tea out of and injected right into his veins. So were magic mushrooms actually growing inside of him? Did he have mushrooms growing inside of his veins? Now from this article, it's unclear whether he actually had mycelium growing inside of his veins, or if there was just some spores in there that was left over from the tea he made, and then when they cultured that those spores on a plate, or when they cultured his blood on a plate, they eventually sporulated, and that's where the Psilocybe cubensis was from. But the headlines implied that he actually had mushrooms growing inside of him, which definitely isn't the case, but that makes a way better headline. When you think about it, it's not that crazy, right? Because the spores would certainly survive the boiling in the tea, and once they're inside of the bloodstream, it's dark, it's warm, it's full of sugar and nutrients, and it's kind of the perfect environment for mycelium to start to grow. You would think that the human immune system would be really quick to shut that down because I mean, we're breathing in spores all the time, but I guess if they're injected directly into the bloodstream, it's probably a much different story. Now you might be wondering what ultimately uh, happened to this person. And apparently after 22 days in the hospital and eight days in intensive care, he is still alive and being treated with a regimen of medications. And again, although there are examples apparently of this being done in the past where people inject magic mushrooms, this is not something that anybody should do ever. And one more thing to note, although the paper got kind of a cheeky headline, right? A trip to the ICU, and all these headlines probably didn't shine a positive light on the uh, potential of psilocybin mushrooms. The paper did sum it up by saying, while it is evident that our patient was harmed through the use of psilocybin, current investigations of its therapeutic potential as an adjunct to psychotherapy in treating a variety of psychiatric conditions, including obsessive compulsive disorder, substance abuse disorder, anxiety, and depression have been documented. So even if you haven't injected uh, mushroom tea right into your veins, is it something to worry about to have mushrooms growing inside of you? No, not at all. In fact, it's exceedingly rare, although it does happen. When I was doing research for this video, I did stumble across a couple other instances of mushrooms being found to be growing inside of people. One paper I found involved a 77 year old woman who was getting a heart valve replaced. And during the procedure, they found a clot like mass of thick filamentaceous fungus, AKA mycelium, which was later discovered to be a form of Caprinus cinereus, which is a common inky cat mushroom that grows on lawns. 
So again, mushrooms, or more accurately, mushroom mycelium, can actually grow inside of you, but it's really nothing to worry about. I think more so it just shows how amazingly adaptable and interesting mushrooms are and how much more we have to learn about the fungal kingdom. So if you want to dig in a little bit and learn more about this story, feel free to check out the links below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tony from Fresh Cat Mushrooms and we'll see you in the next video.